Okay, so in this video we're going to discuss how to calculate this conditional probability uh, where y is less than um, 1. Given y is less than 1, find the probability that x is less than 1 half. Okay, so first let's just write down what is the definition for conditional probability. It's the joint probability, it's the probability that x is less than 1 half and y is less than 1 divided by the probability that y is less than 1. Okay, if you know this definition, then finding this probability, it's not, it's really not that bad. Um, remember what is on the right hand side of that given bar, right? What is on the right hand side of the given bar? This is what you're going to have in the denominator. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and first let's start by figuring out what is the probability that y is less than 1. Okay, to figure out that probability, the first thing that we're going to need to know is what is the marginal distribution for y. Okay, so what is f of y? I'm using this notation uh, instead of changing the, um, the variable or, you know, changing it from f to g or something like that. I'm just using the little subscript to note what um, which function I'm referring to. So this is the marginal distribution of y because I have this little subscript y here. This is up top here f of xy is the joint distribution. Okay, so figure out a marginal when you've been given a joint you want to integrate over the variable um, in this case x. Okay, so we're going to integrate over x. So we're going to integrate 2x um, minus xy integrate over x and x goes from 0 to 1 okay so when I do this I'm gonna end up with let's see uh, x squared minus 1 half x squared and then y is just a constant here evaluate it from x equals 0 to x equals 1 okay go ahead and plug in those bounds so we have 1 squared minus 1 half times 1 times y. Okay, minus 0 squared minus 1 half times 0 times y, which is just 0. Okay, this basically goes away. And I'm left with 1 minus 1 half y. Okay, so this is the marginal distribution, f of y. Uh, what does y go from? It goes from 0 to 2. And it's 0 otherwise. Okay, so now given this, I can figure out what the probability that y is less than 1. I can figure out what this is. This is going to be equal to, let's see, I'm going to integrate less than y, 1. y starts at 0, so 0, until I get to 1. 1 minus 1 half y dy. Okay, integrate over y. I have y minus 1 fourth y squared. Evaluate it from y equals 0 to y equals 1. Okay, go ahead and plug in those bounds. We get 1 minus 1 fourth minus 0 minus 1 fourth times 0, which is just 0, so this goes away. 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Okay, so there you go, that's the denominator. So this is going to be equal to 3 fourths. So now to figure out the numerator, right, to figure out this top piece here, I need to integrate. Let me go ahead and write this down here. So the probability that x is less than one half and y is less than one. Okay, let's just integrate. Uh, I'll start with x. So x is going to go from zero to one half and then y goes from zero to one, okay, of my joint distribution, right? So my joint distribution up top in yellow is two um, x minus xy. Now make sure your bounds, your the, the order of integration matches. So dy, right, this is the inner piece, 0 to 1 for y, 
and then dx because x goes from 0 to 1 half. Okay, make sure your order uh, matches. Very important that your order of integration mat uh, matches the bounds. Okay, so now once you have this, let's go ahead and just calculate what this is. Starting with integrating over y, okay, so x is just a constant, this becomes 2 uh, xy minus, uh, this, this is going to be 1 half xy squared. Evaluate it from y equals 0 to y equals 1. Still have the dx that I need to do later, so I'll leave that out back. Okay, so then I have, let's leave this alone for right now. Uh, let's go ahead and plug in y equals 1. We get 2x minus 1 half x. 1 squared is just 1. Okay, and then if you plug in 0, you just get 0, so I'll just leave that alone. dx. Okay, before I integrate this, I can actually simplify this a little further. Um, 2x minus 1 half x is 3 halves x dx. Okay, so now integrate over x, and what do I get? I have 3 fourths x squared, evaluate it from 0 to 1 half. Okay, and then let's see, plug in those bounds. We'll have 3 fourths times 1 fourth minus 3 fourths times 0, which is 0, so that goes away. Okay, don't always assume your lower bound is 0. Uh, you know, plug it in and, you know, make sure that it actually goes away. Um, in this case, it does, so we don't, we don't have to worry about it. It's good to go. And then what am I left with? I'm left with 3 sixteenths. Okay, so this probability up top in the numerator is 3 sixteenths. All right, so I have a fraction over a fraction. My final answer, um, let me go down here. The final answer, the probability that x is less than 1 half given y is less than 1 is 3 sixteenths divided by 3 fourths, okay? If you leave your answer like this, your teacher is probably not going to give you full credit, okay? So remember, dividing by fractions like this, uh, you know, it's the same thing as multiplying by a reciprocal. So 4 thirds, okay? These guys cancel. This can get reduced into a 4. So this is 1 fourth. And there you go. That's your final answer, 1 fourth.